Hello, people. This is uh, Mike Jew the second, and we are going to be doing a flash game. Yes, I was somehow able to get uh, Fraps work to do the whole stuff with the screen, and now we're gonna play Blah Six or however you say that. Two. There's two point oh. I have no clue what that is. I'll check that out later. This is basically gonna be me testing out how to do shit. Now I'm turning off the music and gonna put in something else because the music can get in kind of degrading. Not degrading, but kind of get weird at times. Plus it might drown out my voice because I have no way of controlling the audio for this, at least to my knowledge. Uh, so, um, yeah. Um, we're gonna have the motion blur off too because if you see, watch the motion blur, it, it gets really weird. It looks really cool when you're playing it, but because I'm recording this and the recording for this isn't exactly perfect, we're gonna work with it, and it's funny how that got stuck. But basically, I'm gonna show you guys not only how to win, but get all the challenges as well. I redid this earlier today, and I uh, practiced all of them because I tried doing this without, um, I tried doing this recording before without actually redoing into the levels, and I got stuck on this one, Seven, trying to finish the challenge. But we're gonna er erase all the data now and go from the beginning. Now basically, this is how the game works. Um, as you can see, 5, 10, 20, 30. Now, when you use these balls at different ones, and sorry for the loud sound effect for that, basically use different things. So when I use the 5, it costs me 5 points. When I use the 10, it costs me 10 points. Boom. See? Understand that? Good. You do. Uh, now we have ourselves the blocks. As you can see, as it says, if we throw them off the stage, we get points for it. Now, I forget exactly which points are exactly what, so you're just going to have to play with it and see, uh, figure it out yourself. Now basically, this challenge is to, and now we also have challenges, I didn't actually say that at first. Uh, basically, in the challenges, uh, for this challenge, and when you do the challenges, you can also get extra balls later on, which you will need to actually complete some of the levels. Um, not need, but it's best to have them. But uh, this one is to throw them all off, so basically, actually, do most is the big one. Boom. Throw off a lot of them. And use the other one to knock off the rest. And if you have any less, use the five, and then you should have enough points. And when you knock them all off, boom. Got ourselves a star that shows that we have completed the challenge. And when you complete a challenge, you also get 100 more points. Now, this one is different challenge because we're only allowed to use one ball. Now, it might not seem that difficult, but because we have to get 100 points to actually pass the level, uh, we need to make sure that we use our one ball carefully. Now, you could try going for the smaller ones to get more points, but just go for the bigger one. It costs a lot of points to use, but because of how much bigger it is, it helps out a lot more than you think. Okay, I was about to say, stuck at 98. I've had that happen before. Pain in the ass. So, ooh, now we have this one. Basically the same thing. Stick with a 30 and uh, just blast them off. This is going to be where you might start having issues. Knocking them off. See, 98 right there. And we this one challenge is only using one ball, so it's going to be very difficult. I believe that one works. That should do it, hopefully. Yes, it does. Boom. A lot of points there. Awesome. Now, these are red blocks. Obviously, when you throw, when they get thrown off, you lose points. This one is throwing no red blocks off. Now, this one actually isn't that hard. Just take your time, because keep in mind, you don't have to throw off all the greens, and you also do not have to um, use only one ball. So, uh, just take your time and slowly take off the top ones. Pretty easy. So, uh, yeah, no, when I recorded this before, I got stuck on one level so badly that I was spending literally so much time on it when I could have easily just spent, um, done something else, which I did do later on. So this is how I'm going to show you guys how to beat these and get all the challenges as well. So it's kind of funny like that. This one used no more than one ball. Uh, this one can kind of be odd on how to work with it. I actually believe I used a 30 one time and it helped. Will it work? This one is using no more one ball, so reds can fall off, so don't worry about it. Yes, they make farting noises when that happens. Hmm. Maybe that will work? I might get stuck in a few times where I'm spending a lot of time on these levels, so I do apologize for that, so we're just gonna work with that as we can. We'll start with the 20. But, uh, anyway, yes, I wanted to record a lot of games, uh... But I really can't, because um, a lot of people can use stuff like Hypercam and whatnot, which I've kind of used before, but the issue is I don't have a stereo mixer for this computer. Meaning that I don't have the ability to record the sound straight off my computer. And that's an issue, because if I can't do that, you guys can't get good sound quality for stuff. So I've kind of left some games alone. However, I didn't realize that Fraps had a screen cap fucking recorder. 
which uh, totally threw me off. I had no clue that we could actually get that. And, uh, but apparently it, it didn't really work uh, until you fix something, but apparently a new version of Fraps, which I got recently, eh, a new version of Fraps uh, came out, which, by the way, if you pay for Fraps, all the newer versions are free that come out later, just so you know. But basically, I downloaded that, and basically, uh, problem solved. So, pretty sweet. Hmm. Can use this side for entertainment. Nah, it's not gonna work. You can kind of get an idea later on on uh, how, whether or not you're gonna get it or not. Let's see if that works. Probably not. But, um, yeah, so now I can record a lot of different games, uh, DS games, because, uh, while virtual, or while Visual Boy can work, I mean, I could do some of those in post-commentary, but I'm, I'm stopped doing post-commentary, it's just something I don't like doing anymore. There was even, uh, something where my computer screwed up while I was trying to find ways to actually record audio. My frap screwed up and actually was trying to record off of that instead of off of, um, my mic, and I, I thought about doing it post-commentary, but, uh, it never really worked out. Mm. Ooh, just enough. Cool. So, kinda gotta get lucky with this one. This one's a pain in the ass. Basically, this one, you throw no red blocks off. What you gotta do is you gotta get these things on the side so they get stuck, basically. So they don't fall off. See, this is gonna fall off, so basically restart. But what you wanna do is kind of shoot them to the side. Yeah, nope. Like that where they just stop right there. So basically, we're good on this side. We should have gotten a lot of points for it. Don't go for the five ball because they don't push them enough. Now you're gonna have to go for the other side too, and basically this is where the issue comes in, is trying to get both of them right at the same time. All right, we fucked that up, but we should still have enough time to move it over. Yes, ooh, we might actually get this pretty soon. Took me a while to get this last time. Yeah, I think we got this, wow. Uh, it takes a lot longer than that, trust me, but once you get that technique down, this level, ugh. So then, the challenge for this one is using no more than one ball. Yeah, fuck that. We're not going to be doing that for this one. We're not doing this challenge just yet. We're going to do it later. I know that sounds kind of weird saying I'm going to do it later, but we're going to do the do it later. Because trying to do it is very difficult. I'll show it real fast. Basically, what you're supposed to do is kind of aim it at the third thing right here. Or no, the third one. Just carefully... <laughs> And when you do that, it's basically, that's not how it's supposed to be, but basically most of it's supposed to fall to the left. Because when it falls this way, by the way, ice platforms are slippery, obviously. But basically, there's just too many things that are left up here, and they don't slide up enough. So basically, you don't get enough points with just one ball. And obviously, you can't do other things, because anything that hits this too much basically knocks all these off at once. Look at that. Yeah. So, um, just say fuck it for this for a while, and we'll work with the rest later. Yeah. Ah, that was a bad move. You have to be very slight with these ice platforms. Very careful. So, uh, but we're just gonna kind of ignore this level for now, at least the challenge part of it, until we get another ball in the future, and then we're gonna focus on coming back here and fixing that. Because we just, we don't have enough. I mean, I've gotten to a point where I had 99, and uh, that is infuriating, I'll tell you that right now. Come on, game. See, not exactly like that, but it sucks when... Because I played this level trying to get that challenge with what I had for, like, 30, 40 minutes. I'm not even kidding. And, like, the other levels took, like, five minutes in one video. Ah, this one. Throw no red blocks. Yes. Uh, basically, you have to hit it just right. Now, you can wait to get something else in the future to make this level a hell of a lot easier, but uh, we're going to do it now just because we can. But basically, you got to get really... You got to get kind of get used to where the ball goes. I'm probably gonna fuck this one up, and... Yep, I did. There is actually another thing you get, it's very late in the game, but you could use that to help... Um... You could basically... Oh, come on, I hate it. Sometimes the the stuff does glitch out, because basically, Blastix is basically a giant fi Someone fucking with a giant physics engine. And, um... It's not a bad... I, I, I like it, personally, when I first played this a long-ass time ago. Um, I really liked it, I, and I still like it today. It's a fun, it's a fun Flash game to play. When I was at school, and I got stuck during moments where I was basically done with my work, uh, for the computer classes, it's, I'm talking for about high school too. Basically, I played this game on the side, because it was fun. A lot of fun. So, yep. And the side I'm playing this on, I will put a link in the description below. So, yep. Ah, fuck me. 
So yeah. So I also want to talk about something real fast. Um, the whole Nintendo thing went down recently about Nintendo blocking, uh, not really blocking, but basically making money off of Let's Plays. And I'm infuriated by this because they're not even letting partners get any of the cut of what's going on. Like, I don't care personally if they make money off my videos. I don't give a shit. You know, I mean, I'd like to make that myself, but it's not my content. Ex exactly. That, that's the issue with the whole thing. But basically, at this point, you know, it's not something I can argue. However, the fact that partners, especially people who have helped Nintendo so much, like Sugar Conroy, Josh Jepsen, uh, Nintendo Creed's son, people who have played mostly Nintendo games, especially Nintendo IP games, it really fucks them in the ass, you know, and that pisses me off, so I don't think I'm gonna be doing Mario Tennis, so you won this one, pretty easy. Uh, this one is pretty difficult. This one we have to basically, uh, knock the balls off, or not the, but the things off. The issue is, though, is that these things get stuck. So, and if we hit it with too big of a ball, they all get stuck right here, and basically they get stuck. We might get lucky, but also we only use one ball. ball. Actually, we'll probably do fine with this one. But anyway, I'm probably not going to be doing Mario Tennis, and I might even delete the Let's Play, because... While I, I wouldn't mind sticking with it, the issue I currently have is that I would probably rant about it too much. I wouldn't be able to play the game and have fun while doing it, so I'm not. I'm going to have to sadly cancel Let's Play. This one... Ugh, throw all green blocks. Basically, they kind of- these are obviously things you can hit. Uh, but basically what you want to do is that. Actually, I'm gonna use the big one first. This should help knock off most of them. Then we're gonna use the little ones later on. You- you- at this point you're getting a lot of blocks. So you have the ability to waste a few more. So even if you fail a few times, don't worry about it too much. Really? Okay, we got a few off. That makes me happy, at least. Yes. Okay, I think we're doing mostly good. Probably stick with a five now. Alright, come on. Yes. Eee, don't hit that, please. <laughs> okay, one more left. Ah, damn it. Okay... No! This will be the last one. Yes! And I believe that one should give me a four. Don't fuck it up, game. Don't fuck it up. Okay. That one should give me just the same amount. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. So, just made that one. Okay. So, that one, basically, you have a lot... this one. Uh, you just have to get it just right. Basically, when anything touches any of these, um, they knock them over, and then they fall, and this one is a throw no red blocks. Basically, you have to keep trying this over and over again until you get it just right. I have, I believe I have done it where I've been able to hit it over here and get it down here to knock these off, but a mm, little bit more difficult. So basically, you're just gonna have to fuck with this for a while until you can get it exactly right. Like that. And for the most part, if you hit it well enough, you, uh... You'll more than likely win the level. This time, I think I got a little unlucky. Yeah. Oh, no, I gotta hit- Okay, I think you have to, have to just aim it this way. Huh, I never thought about that. Okay, so kind of aim it that way, and- So basically kind of aim it like this. Oh, yeah, and you're good. Uh, that hit too many things. Now, uh, we have unlocked the- Uh, we have unlocked one of these special balls. Now, there are a bunch of unlockables. I'm gonna show them as we get them. This is the explosive ball. It explodes. What did you expect? Just shoot the damn thing. How to unlock it? Complete 10 challenges and buy Tabasco sauce. Explosive balls, uh, did you know explosive balls are made by feeding normal normal ball with Tabasco sauce? Yes, stupid stuff like that. Pretty funny. So anyway, now we're going to come back here and do this level. Now, we're going to be doing this with the explosive ball for basically a lot of the other challenges as well. Now, what you're basically going to need to do is just barely shoot it up, and it has to just barely get over here. So if it hits right there, it's going to knock all these off, so, you know. But basically, oh yeah, and just to show you guys, that's how fucking awesome that thing is. So, it, it is a very fun thing to have. And it is very helpful, you're going to need, need the explosive ball to complete a lot of the challenges. See, we have to get it just right here, and boom, we will get most of them. You have to knock most of them off to get the uh, challenge anyway, so uh, if it hits anywhere, you know, where it doesn't hit a lot of them off, like that, we're already fucked, so. It costs 40 points, though, so uh, be careful. You can't use that many, so, you know. Yeah, you're gonna be fucked. See? That was really annoying, sorry. Uh, so, yeah. I might get lucky with that one. 
should be yes and as you can see we we're gonna have just enough to get this going see we're four away so but hey if it works it fucking works so anyway let's go back to the menu and get ourselves these sounds this one's not that hard basically uh, that's not what i want to do no that's not what i wanted to do either or did i do it basically you want to do that this one's a no throw off red block so it is difficult yeah the ball's getting very odd in terms of the uh, well the game's kind of having this weird v-sync issue or something that i wish i had a v-sync thing you kind of have to hit it just right now like that really it would have been most i think i'll stick with the 20. Yeah, for some reason the ball's acting weird. I think it is because I am recording the screen, so, uh... The game's getting a little weird. But whatever, I'm fine with that. It doesn't really matter. Not that not that big of an issue. So I should say, though, that I'm actually not going to be extending this, uh... The footage into a widescreen thing, and instead, for Flash games that are not in a specific pattern, I'm, I'm gonna have, like, a little border around it. Some people like doing borders and stuff. I usually try to stay away from them because, uh, not, not because they're bad, but because they take a lot of fucking work. But if anyone's in the mood to make, like, a thing, like a Michael Flash game thing, because basically I'm gonna have a playlist for Flash games that are simple. Like, if it's something like The Binding of Isaac, it'll have its own folder, but for simple Flash games like this, it's, they're gonna be in all-in-one playlist. And, uh, I wanna see if I can get a banner for it. Or a border thing around it, so if anyone would like to make one so there can be stuff on the side, uh, I'd really appreciate that. You know, if, like I said, if any of you guys out there are uh, want to get your name out there, you know, uh, this is a way to do it. I'm not that popular, but then again, if you want to get your name out there, you're probably not going to get a lot of popular people for the first people you hit, so, you know. Though, from what I'm looking at YouTube, I'm getting kind of popular lately. Not really, really popular, but, like, just a little bit. Like, I'm getting a lot more views than I usually do. Oh, my God. It's just the, the little pieces that fall. Maybe I should stick with a 10? And now uh, you can't do this because it just explodes as it is. So, uh, yeah. No. There we go. This one should work. Yep, this one will work. Hopefully. Really? If I get lucky, I could... No. Or not. Completely fuck it up. I got pretty lucky there, though, so... Kind of want to hit the... From the looks of it, I think I need to hit the top part of the... Uh, basically hit the top part of the block so they run into this, but they don't all fall apart on the same spot. Because when you hit it like that, they also fly that way, too. So basically you want to hit them at the top. Um... Okay, so I need enough room... The ball keeps fucking flashing, and that's for whatever reason because I'm recording this, so it's fucking throwing me off in terms of where to put it. Maybe I need to use less power? Mm. Hmm. Oh, come on, don't tell me this level's the one that's gonna be throwing me off. It happens, though. So, yep. So yeah, there is actually, uh, I know you're, some of you guys might be asking, Michael, why are you doing Blossicles, uh, this one instead of Blossicles 1? Blossicles 1 was a lot different. Actually, if you noticed in the very first level, or something like that, or the second level, it said restarts are free. I'm guessing they weren't free in the first game. I did play the first game, but, uh, not much of it. And only because I was just like, here's Blossicles 2, but where the hell is 1 at? Or Bloss 6, I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I do apologize if I am absolutely tearing the name apart, and more than likely I am. You have those times, too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This should be it. This should be it. Yes. Yes. Sexy. <laughs> that, that should definitely be it. Yep, we got it. Awesome. Ah, yes. This is an explosive block. 
This challenge, do not explode any blocks. But Michael, if we don't explode, by the way, I do believe, can you still win a level like this? I never actually checked. Yeah, you can. But what do we do? Well, basically we have to get a little flunky with the explosive one again. That one went over, so... Because uh, basically this is open up here, so what you need to do is throw a block. If you're trying to get a really high score, you're just going to have to throw a little one and have it roll all the way down here. That didn't help. And yeah, this, uh, that didn't work. But basically, this one, this explosive does not count as the explosive as it says. It just says no explosive blocks. Does not say anything about just no explosives in general. So you can use this. Not getting lucky with this one. We're gonna have to get very finicky later on with the explosive thing, and that's gonna be... It's gonna be very boring, I'll tell you that right now. But it's the only way to win some of these challenges. Alright. So there's 13, so we're almost halfway there, folks. And this one's basically the same thing. Um, don't explode any explosive blocks. You need to put it down here and have it fall right here. And I think we might have got it. Nope. See, this is where the issue comes in, because you're either not using enough power or too much power. And the position of the uh, circle spawn is uh, not exactly perfect. That one should be it, maybe? Yes, this will be it. This will knock all of them off. Boom. That is basically the best chance you could have at knocking all the blocks off. So we got this one. Easy squeezy. Nah, this one's kind of weird. You either do really well or really bad on this. I'm going to go for the 10. I think I used that one last time. You can only use one ball in this challenge, by the way. Basically, you need to knock most of them off to do this, and if you don't explode most of them, either by luck or anything else, then you need to figure out another way to do it. I don't believe ever aiming for the bottom ones are... Never mind. I believe we got this. Now, this part's annoying because we gotta wait for all the fucking things to fall off, though we did win that one. And I thought shooting for this one would be a bad idea. Nope. I don't care about points. Now we have unlocked a different ball. Basically, this one is one where this is basically also an explosive block. It's the same It's the same cost. I used to think this is one that actually was a ninja star and it actually shot through stuff. Basically, what we need to do, and then when we push the D button, or what, E button, we push it off. I didn't think that'd work. To those you don't know, this is a pain in the ass level. Like, and I'm not even fucking kidding, too. And I believe we've already won if we say restart. Yeah, we already won the challenge. I have been, I have to fight with this one usually and get it to do like that. And then hit it like that and blow them off. But you have to hit it like right here, because this challenge is to knock them all off. I didn't know you could do that. Because I figured, oh my god. Like this, I thought this level was going to take like forever. Notably, I got really lucky with that placement there, didn't I? Huh. I want to mimic that again, just because... Up oh, here would be a good spot, I think. Now, whatever it is, I somehow got that uh, on my first... I don't fucking know. This one's a fun one. Don't throw off any red blocks. And it is on a white block, by the way. That last thing said the white blocks did not cost anything. Like that. Hit it again. And now, basically, it's... Save your red blocks. Because after you do this, do it to the other side as well. And now you're basically fighting with the white platform and not throwing off any of the red ones. Though I don't, we haven't thrown enough off, sadly, so, uh, that didn't work. So, yep. Now we're basically fighting with the game. Yeah, damn it. Okay, let's try this again. Boom. Nah, that didn't work. Because basically at this point we're fighting with the game on, uh, damn it. You have to fight with the white platform and not knocking off any of the red ones by shooting into the to the board. Just right now we're gonna have to shoot into it to prevent. We've already lost that one. This one's not as hard as you think it is. It's just trying to get it just right. I wonder if using a bigger one would help. Nope. Because using the lesser one isn't really a good idea. 
because you're not going to knock off a lot of them and you don't have enough power to push it down. So 10 seems like your best bet. Maybe I just need to knock off most of the top ones. Yeah, maybe hitting it like that was a better idea. Damn. This one's not as bad as it usually is. I don't know why it's acting like this all of a sudden. Let's player curse? I usually don't get hit with that, but, uh, or the let's play curse. Uh, all of a sudden you start playing a game and then you start doing really bad at it. Or maybe it's just like, Michael, you did too well at that last level. The let's play gods have chosen to make you punished by playing this one and making it unfair. Making you seem like a dumbass. Because basically that's what you gotta do. You basically gotta push this shit down. Yeah, just we don't have enough. Hmm. Boom. Boom. Come on. Nope. Maybe I just have to do it like this. Boom. Boom. And then boom. Maybe that's what I maybe that's what I did. Is I still I instead of trying to shoot into it, I was still trying to knock him off. Or I accidentally did that. Good, this should do it, this should do it. Keep tapping, keep tapping, keep tapping. Fuck yeah! Basically, you have to fight with it sometimes. This one's kind of like, um... This level, except for you can basically, I believe, use the explosive shuriken, like, thing. Boom. To basically win the level like that. Yep, so use that, and that works. By the way, uh, to make it explode, you have to push, I believe, the E button. You have to use the D button for another one later. Ah, this one. Another time using this. You usually have to fight with this one really badly, but this is the best time to do it. By the way, this one's knocking off all the green blocks. And if we throw too many right here, the ideal is to actually play the level legit, is to make all of them float this way. However, as soon as they get right there, they're fucking stuck. So, uh, yeah. So instead, use the shuriken. Blow off the shuriken at just the right time. And then you fight with it after that. You're gonna have a lot left after this. Nope, didn't work. But basically, you gotta get really lucky with this. But well, that should work. There we go. So basically, you won this one. Easy. Boom. So uh, we can use two of them, and we're good. Still beat the level. And I believe we got the challenge right. Yeah. Yeah, we got the challenge. Okay, you have to be careful that you actually don't wait. Ah, uh, this one. Basically, the way you do this legit is knock the middle thing and then knock all of the the balloon things like this and to hold them long enough. Sometimes you'll even have to shoot them to make them wait. But there's not enough time to do it, basically. I've done it like that before, but it's extremely difficult. How do you do it the right way? Basically. Like that. And like that, you knock them all off without that big of an issue. We should have enough money. Or we should have enough points. If we don't, I can retry. Yeah, we're going to need more. But, yeah. I Usually not that bad. And I fucked that up. <laughs> I usually get this just right. But basically, you have to knock it like that. I usually... When I did a test recording later today, I did a really damn good job at actually uh, knocking them off. Funny enough. Like, I, I, like, I tried for the first time, and boom, I won. I was like, what? It was kind of like what I did earlier with the other thing. With that other level. Ah, no, sorry, I, if you saw the fraps thing. Um, yeah. I've actually, uh, decreased, because of frame rate issues, I, dec I decreased my screen to, uh, 720, uh, pixels. So, yeah, I could probably have done it at a higher platform. But, uh, I'm just gonna stick with it like this, because, uh... You'll get the best frame rate like this. And of course, that thing's gonna be there to fuck everything up. Seems like the bigger one actually helps out a lot more. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems that way. Ah! It's not what I wanted to do. How the hell did I do it before? Ah, damn it. Fucking... Ugh. Sorry about that. I do apologize. 
think that's how I did it. Can we? I believe we have enough thing to do it again. Nope. There we go. Yep. That should work. Just keep pushing on. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. You can't do it like that because then the stuff uh, falls down because of the... For whatever reason. Yeah, because this thing's being held up by a bit. So they kind of thought you were going to do this. It's still not that hard. It's pretty easy, really. It's not what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, I did that before, too. Where I... Uh, Knocked everything over. Yeah, I've done it like that. I forgot about that. Yeah, you can do it like this. But the way I usually do it is like the whole thing. I don't know how I did it before. Maybe... I'm probably just trying too hard and that's, that's the issue. Maybe I need to use less power? That's what it was. I was using too much power. Okay, so use just a lot less power. And at least for the most part. So anyway, yeah. Do it like that or you can do the other way. The other way is harder, but whatever. Ah, uh, this one. This is the one level where I always usually have to do it legit. Basically, uh, you want to shoot a little bit of the things at a time because if they get to the bottom, you're fucked. You have to restart the level. Oh yeah, we have a new thing, too. Uh, I should show that off. This is a different... I didn't actually show off the... No, that's not what I wanted to do, damn it. Pushing the wrong buttons. Okay, so basically, here are the unlockables. Uh, here is the remote explosive ball. Uh, yes, I didn't know what this did for the longest time, and they tell me what it did, so I'm stupid. So basically, very similar to the explosive ball, but it does... But it doesn't explode on hit. Instead, you ignite it by hitting the E key on your keyboard. And since we, ha we had to put explosives and the receiver into the ball of the same size, it's weaker than the standard explosive ball, basically. Uh, how to explode it, complete it, complete 15 challenges, and yeah, there you go. Oh, and disassemble your little brother's radio-controlled car. Yes, they also say you have to do other things to get it, which are really stupid, but I, I think it's funny, personally. Did you know, you can shoot up to 10 remote explosives and make them explode at once? You'll get minus gazillion points, but it's so much fun. Shoot up to 10 remote explosive balls and make them explode at once. Really? No, that's the wrong one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> you get minus gazillion points. Okay. I was just curious about that. And uh, basically, here is the disintegrator ball. It's a ball that disintegrates every block it touches. No, you don't get points for discriminated blocks. Yes, when the blocks disappear, green, red, or white, you do not get any points for them at all. So, either losing points, gaining points. So, don't think about doing anything. When you push the D key, it explodes. And it's a very small explosion, and anything that's get caught into it is basically destroyed. Uh, 20 challenges, and kill a block... Kill a block with cold blood. Yes. Did you know Discanderator Blood was previously called Killer Ball, but the Blocks Lovers Association objected to its claiming that the name offended the dignity of the Noble Ball. The Scanderator Disintegrator Ball doesn't destroy platforms. If you think, if you think it did, you were hallu certainly hallucinating. So, yep. All right then. So basically, this level is you have to play it mostly legit. Hit a little bit at a time, and basically, do not overload your cloud balloons. And as you can see, they appear and just uh, reappear. See, as you can see, they're getting too heavy over here. So they're going to get stuck at the bottom. So do a little bit at a time where the things can get floated around. And sometimes you have to wait a long time to get these things fixed. So this one, I don't think it's going to make it. Oh, no, it might. Yes, it's getting up there. And you're going to have to wait a bit for them to actually fall and actually do anything. So be careful. Because they will get stuck like this. As you can see, it's not being picked up at all. So be careful. You're going to have to, as I've said, wait to for a bit. So this one's going to take a while. going to use the five ball after this, I think. So I want to wait a bit because you don't want to overdo it with the blocks. Or else, as I've said, they fall down. How the hell did that thing? Never mind. Still doesn't work, damn it. <laughs> it's just moving it because it's weird. Damn it. All right, fine, whatever. Okay, that didn't work. I think I'm gonna stick with a 10. Yeah, that just started pushing everything over here. Not a good idea. 
That might work. Because we, uh, as long as they kind of spread out, they'll be able to carry the blocks on their own. But yeah, there's too many right here and they're not splitting out. Uh, this is fucked. Maybe, maybe not. No, it's fallen, it's fallen. And uh, yeah, we're fucked. It's not gonna do anything. So yeah, this one's gonna take a while. Um, I don't know what to talk about, but yeah, I got other ideals of playthroughs of games to play. Uh, maybe either for fun or whatnot, and uh, basically they're gonna be in the one folder. I can also record DS games now, I don't know what I'll record. But uh, I do I do want to do Star Force 2, I've been wanting to do that forever, but I know I just nah, haven't had the ability to. I've thought about waiting for it though, because the issue with Star Force uh, 2 and onward is that you get these things called link points, but you can only get them when you uh, register with friends. And uh, with a DS emulator, you cannot do that, so... Um, I've thought about waiting until I possibly get a capture card for the 3DS. Uh, very expensive, probably not going to do it until a long time from now, but waiting until then and then having people come to my, um, actually register to my account to kind of show themselves off and we can get a lot of link points that way and etc, etc. And I'm going to need it because uh, without link points, the final boss in fucking Star Force 2 is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It is the hardest final boss of the three games, hands down. Uh... I think most of them have fallen off now, so... Some of them are still there, but uh, we can do it like this. So, yep, uh, what else to talk about? Other things we can record. As I've said, we can record some Flash games now. I could record XCOM. I want to I wanna refresh on it, though, so more than likely, before I even try recording XCOM, the original, I will, um... By the way, we've beaten it now, but like I said, we have to do all the green blocks to get the challenge. But, uh, yeah, basically, um... It'll be a thought to, um... I don't know why I can't think right now. Basically, I want to refresh myself on it before I try that again, and I want to give it some time that I until I have more subscribers, so more people are actually interested in having their names put in there, like I did for the remake XCOM game. Uh, because that was fun, I just, I didn't have a lot of people interested in doing so. So, um... And it was a cool thing. People liked it. People really liked it, I think, having their own names put in there. I think people got pissed off, though, when they died. So, uh, yeah. Well, you know, it's gonna fucking happen. You can't really get pissed off at that. <laughs> oh, there we go. So... Now another row. Probably gonna use the five after this to play it safe. It's gonna get stuck back here. That happens. They get they get back here, but whatever. It's better than getting stuck down there. Another big of an issue. Other games I could record. Um, there's a lot of older games I played when I was a kid. Thinking about recording uh, that because they can't be recorded on a thing anyway. Uh, I think it'd be a lot of fun personally, and uh, I got this one in mind, which is uh, fucking horrified me as a kid. This game. And you guys have probably heard of it, and you guys are probably playing the games for it, and you go, Michael, why is it horrifying? It's just the death scenes they show when your character dies, and your characters die, is fucking ridiculous. Like, it is scary what the fuck they show. Cool. So now all of them are gone, and now we just play the waiting game. But anyway, yeah, the game fucking horrified me as a kid, and um, it was funny because... Um, Again, I, people are gonna just gonna be like, why this game horrify you? And just the, the death scenes they give you if you lose are fucking scary. <laughs> they really are. Oop, now we won. So we got the challenge. So boom. Now is that long level? Ah, yes, this one. Now we have ourselves star blocks. Star blocks are worth more points. This one's worth about, I believe from what I see, 160 points. So basically you can use this explosive and basically the ideal is you're trying to get it through the thing. Oh, that's the wrong one. Boom. Safe, 160. Boom. Not that hard of a level at all. This one, this, this disintegration block actually comes in handy with this one. Because shoot it up top, have it explode, and all of them are gone. So we can actually no longer throw off red blocks. So just throw these off now and you're mostly good. And you will have enough points left to uh, do this. Yep, see? So this one's really easy if you have the block. So you want to do the unlockables if you want to play this game. This one's a pain in the ass. Uh, basically, you're just going to have to get lucky. 
because uh, it's also another challenge we have to throw no red blocks. Come on. Kind of had it to get the arrows just right. Yeah. Because basically it just, the force throws the other things off. Maybe if I put it near the middle. Ooh, yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, fuck. It happens. Nope. Nope. You need at least three to my knowledge to win this. So, oop, oop, nope. Nah, not gonna get it. Come on. Yes, yes. Nope. So yeah, this one's basically... Uh, get it through and then smash on the uh, button. The next button, that is. <laughs> nope. Hmm. How many issues here? Got it? Cool. Nope. And using anything else won't work. I've tried using a disintegration block to help with the top part of the red blocks. Doesn't work at all. Obviously, the explosives won't work, so basically it's you have to get it right with the little one. So how it's gonna work, so deal with it. Deal with it. Where are my glasses at? Actually, where the fuck are my glasses at? Ah, nope, they're on top of my 3DS. So, yep. Um, not really much to talk about. Oh, so my birthday was a long time ago, and uh, this is actually pretty cool. My girlfriend was able to get me this one game that actually, uh... This is actually amazing. And basically, I've been trying to get my hands on Fire Emblem, uh, the longest time Fire Emblem Awakening for the 3DS. It seemed like an amazing game. I'm a real big fan of the Fire Emblem franchise. And it was really funny because for the longest time... I didn't know what the fuck I, uh, you know, I didn't think I'd, I was going to be able to get it without downloading it online. And I even tried pre-ordering it at GameStop, but at the time... Nope. But at the time, like, all of a sudden, literally the day before, because I wanted it for the art book that was going to come with it, basically, uh, they said that uh, they canceled the thing. Nintendo did. They, for whatever reason, they were having issues with their shipping. I have no idea what it actually was, but for whatever reason, they were having shipping issues where they weren't going to be able to have enough of it. I remember talking with the guy there, and basically we kind of we came up with a few different issues. Uh, one, they found a glitch in the game, which they wanted to fix for the American version, so they recalled all the copies. Uh, obviously, they didn't make enough copies, because Fire Emblem franchise really has... Ooh, 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 this could be the one. Ah, oh, so close. But basically, the Fire Emblem franchise is a, um... Can't think. Uh, the Fire Emblem franchise isn't really that popular in America. In Japan, it was very popular, but in America, not that popular. Until Awakening came out and really became one of the few really, really, really good games on the uh, 3DS. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can do it later with something else we have. Uh, before we get that challenge, because we get one more thing until we're basically done. This one, basically, you gotta do it like this, and it's not that hard. Basically, use a little block to destroy this to maximize on your points. And then hit this just in time. Ah, uh, nope. Usually that's what you have to do. Basically, you block them off. There's that. This, you can actually use the disintegration block and do it like this. And knock over most of them, and usually it stops around the last few. Oh, nope, we got all the blocks off. No reds. Yep. That's how you can do that one. Ah, uh, no, we need to get this one. I forgot. So, yeah, we're going to have to work with this one, actually. Because we need to have... Uh, we actually kind of need the thing we unlock next for the next one. It's actually not a ball, too. It is a uh, special ability. Oh, we might have it now. No, probably not. Um, There's obviously an issue with how we're hitting it. Is it too much power? No, it seems like not enough power wouldn't work because then we're knocking it off. Kind of need to have the power to... Uh, Hit it off, you know what I mean? Maybe like this? Nope. Yes. Seems like the way to do it. Nope. 
But anyway, about Fire Emblem. Um, basically, uh, that happened. And for my birthday, I was telling my girlfriend a few... Oh, yep, we got it this time. We got it. Uh, but basically what happened was that my girlfriend was, um... Now, we have unlocked the F key. It's a freeze key, basically. When we shoot stuff and we push it, it costs 10 points, but it stops everything. See? So pretty cool. Basically, she was able to get her hands on Fire Emblem Awakening. New. Like, I'm just like, what? Dude, awesome. So that, I thought that was cool. I was actually not only able to get a physical copy of the game, but I was also able to get it new, not used. So, uh, that was pretty cool. I thought that was awesome. Now, you can uh, cheat with this and stop it like that. Because basically, the way it goes, I know it sounds weird, but basically, um... It stops the momentum unless something else pushes it, but for these disappearing and reappearing cloud blocks, basically they just disappear. And other ones push forward, so it doesn't really freeze anything, and you can't unfreeze it too. You just have to knock into it again. And it's hard to do this one, because you also obviously can't throw any red blocks. Because trying to either hit these or shoot through them is hard, because you can knock them into other ones. So, pain in the ass. Ah, see? So basically, with, but with the freeze key, you can kind of stop it for a bit. God damn it. Now, you can use it to your advantage, too, and um, freeze just in time to knock off something else. Like, if you knock off a red one, like here, let's go back, because there's actually another level we had like that, this one. Because if you didn't do this one too well, you can actually do it so that when you knock off that, you freeze it. And then now uh, you can go from there. Now the issue with that is that if you knock anything up on the top one now... Come on. Come on. Come on, I had this earlier. Stop fucking with me, game. You're gonna knock some of them into these ones, so... But you can kind of do it like that if you're having issues. Anyway, time to do this one, so... Yep. By the way, we only have uh, five more to go. Now, I recommend restarting and uh, knocking one off before the clouds come so you can save yourself 10 points. I think it's a good idea, personally. Oop, we got that one. Good. Gonna need two more, I believe. Okay, we got lucky with that one. We didn't knock it off, so we didn't have to use a freeze. Yes, okay. So, I think we only need one more. Ah, so close. Okay, now we might need two. Come on. Ah, damn it. Ah, come on. Bullshit game. Bullshit. Yes, I'm getting everything but the green one. Come on. Got that one? Okay. I recommend starting from the bottom because the bottom ones are harder to hit because of the uh, clouds. So then you can work your way up. And then uh, it gets easier as it comes along. Because you want to get you want to do the harder ones first. So that because uh, if you do the easy ones first, you're basically wasting time. At least that's what I think. One more, we can do it. What? Yes, bullshit game. Come on. Yes. Oh, we need one more. Really, game? There, so close. Come on. Now, the issue with freezing stuff, too, is that you can also freeze your uh, red ones. Or your green ones, causing them not to fall off. And if you're on a level what says you need to throw off all of the green ones, that's an issue. Because if you have to throw off all of the green ones and you freeze it, that means and it goes off screen and it actually hasn't hit anything yet, that means you're not going to be able to get any of them ever. Because you're either going to have to shoot randomly, which you're wasting points if you're doing so. And if you're not shooting randomly... Really, game? Fucking with me here. Uh, fuck off. I don't know why I just did that, so... I almost got it. Really? Did I really just do that? I actually fucked around one time, and I have been able to get this without using the freeze icon. But it, see, I can get some of them without using the freeze icon, but it's very difficult. If I can get that one, I actually could get this. 
Yeah, I think I got it now. Nope, 95. So close. So if I get one more... Yep, we got it. So cool. You can play around if you bit if you want, see if you can get it luckily, but chances are you're not. Ah, this one. This one's not that hard. Take a little one, boom, have it roll off, get stuck right here, you win. Uh, you'll have issues with whether or not this will fall correctly, but other than that, you're gonna win this level really easily. Not that hard, you win. Get over it. Ah, yes, this one. I got lucky with this one last time. Basically, you have to hit it off, and when they fall off, you freeze it, and then you knock them off after that. So, like this. Then like that. Now we have to hit him again to knock him off even more, and boom. Ooh, we get three of them right there. Yes, we got this. Boom. So, yeah. This is probably where we're gonna get the majority of you. That level is probably gonna be where we get the majority of points. Ah, yes, this challenge. The other one was throwing off no red blocks, by the way. And the other one was as well. This one used no more than two balls. Actually, was it? Uh, I wanna sh make sure I show all the challenges. No red blocks, this one was... No more than one ball. Okay, so one ball. Then the next one was obviously don't throw any red blocks. Okay, so also this is our last one for the uh, big one. Now, mostly you're going to at least have to hit off that. See, or, you know, hit more of them too. You can get lucky and hit more of them off. I forgot about that. Basically, we won this. It's a lot more difficult. You have to get lucky. Um, do that for those fall off. This one, as you can see, it is actually a Space Invaders reference, yay. Basically what you have to do is, this is very difficult. First, knock this thing off. Da -da -da. Fuck you too. So basically after you knock that off, you're basically supposed to knock these off perfectly. Eh, that's gonna fuck up, because basically, it'll hit, oh no it didn't. Basically you have to get really lucky with it or else it hits the uh, sights. Now you do get a you do get a ball after this, but you can't use it anywhere else that you can can't can, can get can get another challenge. But it's a fun ball, so I'm gonna show it off anyway. Oh my OG said that was weird. Ugh. Anyway, basically you don't want to hit it too hard because if you do, uh, the balls move to the side and they knock into these things. Well, I might get this on my first go somehow. Oh shit, that's probably gonna fuck me over. I'm gonna freeze, because doing that probably has fucked me over. Oopsie. Actually, I can fuck with this. That should help, hopefully. <laughs> actually, I think I might actually have this. Basically, the issue with freezing, like, in this level is that if it's not all the way off screen yet, you've basically fucked yourself. Oh, wait, did I fuck myself over with that one? I'm not sure, so, um, yeah. See, like this, I just fucked myself over completely. So now I gotta do it all over. Again, really hard level, um, kinda wanna get lucky with this one. You can, you can knock it all off at once. You might want to with the, you might want the extra points later on. Eek, actually, that might have helped out a lot. Wow. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. It's gonna knock into this one. Yep, see, it just barely fucking tapped it, and I lost. So, uh, it happens, you just got to deal with it. Okay, barely didn't touch it. So basically what you first want to do is hit uh, the thing in the middle. By the way, the walkthrough thing, it does take you to someone who does a walkthrough. He doesn't do the challenge on this fucking level, the jackass. <laughs> because uh, he does help you out with doing them and doing them on the first go, but he does not tell you how to do this one. I have no, I don't know if it's a guy who made the game or not, but it's just like, really? Come on, be a little bit fucking merciful for us, come on. I'm guessing he probably wanted us to do it ourselves. Ugh, just made that. Eek, 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 nope. I fucked that up. So I could possibly get lucky. Knock it to the side. But it makes everything explode and hit everything else. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wonder. I don't think you can do it like this. Oh, no, you could. You can use the big block. Doesn't really matter. Unless you're trying to maximize on points. Then, uh, yeah, then it's an issue. E okay, we got lucky there. Nice. Tap it. Nope. Okay, we're gonna have to knock these off. 
one at a time. Ooh, nice. We got that. Okay, cool. Hopefully that didn't make them... It might fall down again, so I'm gonna play it safe. I think we're good, though. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, so we might actually get it now. Nah, it's gonna fuck up. So... I think we might actually have it now. One more, maybe? Yes, we got it. And congratulations, you have completed all the levels. You're awesome. What do you want to do now? Submit your score. Ah, that scared me. Uh, see if there's anything more to unlock. Go back to menu. So the last one we've unlocked, I actually didn't show this one. The freeze button, ancient block foo scroll says, press the mighty F key and everything around you shall stand still in ridiculous, posi <laughs> in ridiculous positions. Three things to remember. One, to unfreeze a block, just hit it. Two, freezing already frozen blocks does not unfreeze them. See, so you can't push it twice. Freezing costs 10 points to be precise. Uh, how to unlock it? Complete 25 challenges and put your cat in your freezer. Did you know what maybe, it may look strange, but freezing an object makes it levitate. It's because gravity gnome... Because gravity gnomes refuse to work in sub-zero temperatures. However, like any gnome, they'll start working again if you punch them. <laughs> That's fucked up. This one's the vortex ball. It's basically the fun ball. Evil ball creates a vortex which sucks in everything around it. Those unfortunate who get too near to the center of the vortex are eaten by the despicable ball. Usage... Usage, hit, wait, enjoy. How do I unlock it? Complete 30 challenges and make a blood sacrifice to the ancient god. <laughs> so, yep. Did you know a vortex ball does not eat green blocks? Apparently they give them indigestion. Yes, to fuck around with this thing. Actually, I don't think this is a good level for it. Um, This one probably is. Basically, what it does is it knocks into the ball and it keeps spinning. Vortex. And it basically goes weird. It doesn't suck in the green ones. I mean, it sucks them in, but it doesn't eat them, and then it explodes. It costs 50, so there's really no practical use for it besides having fun. Yeah, see, this time restarts are free. I don't know how that is. There was also a Blossix 2.0 where people made their own challenges. I might do that one later, but not yet. So a level like this, however, we can show off something else about the ball. No. By the way, the ball has to hit something first. Now just watch. It actually eats the red ones, but like I said, it doesn't eat the green ones because apparently it gives it indigestion. And, but as you can see, it doesn't work sometimes because you get explosions. So, yep. So, yeah, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this playthrough, however. So, yeah, we did pretty good there, I do believe so. So, yep. Yeah, we had fun. It was a fun level and whatnot, and yeah. I'm actually curious about 2.0. What does that one do? Oh, I get it. This is the versions. Added links to website which levels created by users. Okay. Uh, the level editor. Add oh, yes, there's a level editor now, and you can actually load levels. So, um, I guess if you guys are bored, you can send me levels. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. The level editor. I'm guessing you have the ability to... Uh... Tools. Okay, so basically... Okay, so basically you go through stuff like objects, blocks... Okay, so this is basically how the guy created. Yeah, there is another one where where they the guy has basically chosen all of the um I can't think. Basically, um the guy made a version where the blocks were able to uh people were able to make their own and the best ones were put into this one. It is very difficult. I have never beaten it with the challenges. But uh, it is fun. So if you guys want me to play that one, you know, that's cool. You know, just tell me and whatnot. Yeah, so I do hope you guys have enjoyed this uh Fun little let's play this flash game Bla 6 2 it took a while to play this But it was still a lot of fun and now I can record stuff on fraps So I hope you guys have enjoyed or at least screen on fraps. So I hope you guys have enjoyed I'll catch you guys next time. This is Mike June the second signing out